Okay, so hello everybody uh, once again uh, for for upcoming minutes. Uh, let's talk about our orbit design system. I would like to briefly briefly introduce what is design system is. Uh, what was the history and I would say nature why why we decided to build our own design system. And also, uh, I would like to uh, briefly introduce maybe some specific parts of of the design system we have. Firstly, um, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ludwig Vepšek. I work at Kiwi.com as engineering lead. Uh, me and also my team, we are part of Software Platform Tribe where uh, everybody or every team that is there actually uh, wants to only support uh, the way we work at Kiwi in terms of the, of the software and tools we use. Uh, so I would say this is very, uh, very nice place where actually the design system belongs. But uh, let's focus on the orbit design system. Uh, we, we have our orbit design system for more than three years, but before any, any uh, details, I would like to focus on what design system is actually because uh, not everybody can know a, a clear answer uh, to such question and maybe maybe the problem is not that simple to answer uh, at the beginning in our company and also in different companies that uh, want to build digital products the overall process of actual designing and developing such such products can be huge complex uh, there can be multiple times, uh, like times and parts that needs to be done in, in uh, such process. But for this particular presentation, I would like to focus only on very, uh, very, I would say not short, but specific part of it. And it would be the des real design and uh, developing process of it. So for such example, I would like to use only two roles in this process, and that's a designer and developer, even though that the overall process there is more and more uh, job positions involved, and it's not about only two roles or two people. And actually, um, actually, uh, there can be a lot of questions during this process that designer or developer can ask, and uh, mostly when, when it comes to some visuals or uh, the exact UI, how the product or features of the product could look like. So for instance, the product designer could ask uh, maybe very simple questions. Uh, what icons do we have? So I, I could use them in the design. Also, what spacing should I use between multiple elements so it looks good for, for the user? And also, uh, what is the color definition of our brand color that I want to use in uh, some element in the design? On the other hand, the software engineer involved in, in this process can have very similar questions, but just different point of view. Uh, so he would not ask what icons we have, but uh, where I can get the icons. So I can use them in the source code of the product or the feature and how I should approach defining the space uh, between elements that designer put into the design specification. And also I would say same question uh, once again, what's the color definition of our brand color? And seeking answer for such questions, uh, I would say is very repetitive. In the end, there can be even more questions and some concerns about that. And I would say the best to be efficient and uh, the process cost uh, less, less time actually would be, the best would be to probably avoid such questions and have maybe a different solution for it. And uh, I would like to also a bit explain this more on uh, what I call atomic problem, because when we move these questions to specific UI element uh, for, for this case, a button. Uh, button is, I would say, very simple uh, at the first look, 
Uh, it has some very few design attributes that needs to be uh, take, take into consideration. But when there is no any good uh, and systematic solution to it, there can be a lot of problems coming from that. And that was uh, the history we had in Kivido.com a few years ago uh, without any system to our design and also uh, front end or uh, software engineering when it comes to the UI. So it caused us a lot of troubles, especially uh, because we developed the button multiple times, probably around 50 times. Uh, and in this in the end, it was very, very uh, costly for us in terms of time and money that we could spend for more important things uh, such as uh, maybe discovery, the code quality, some technical depth and stuff like this. And because uh, it was developed and designed multiple times, uh, it caused us inconsistencies between us because one team developed the button for, for them, the second one also for them. And uh, then uh, on multiple touch, touch points or domain domains, the button looked very, I would say different in, in small parts. And we, we uh, noticed that this is, I would say, a huge problem for us because we have multiple inconsistencies in terms of uh, this visual language we have in our product. And in the end, the main reason also a problem we had was that if we would like to change the visual visual look of our products, it would be very hard to, to do so. Uh, we would probably spend a lot of time just replacing some, some UR, UI parts and we did not have any better solution to that. And that was um, like main reasons why we considered more than three years ago that it would be very good to have some, some system to our, to our design, design process connected to it and also uh, the UI components. And I'm getting uh, to this definition of design system. And the design system is a collection of reusable components. That means it doesn't have to be just a button, but it can be a card or uh, some parts of itinerary we display uh, at kiwi.com, which are then guided and clear, clearly described by some standards, guidelines, and in the end can be more efficiently assembled together so uh, together they build uh, any number of applications we would like to. And when I get back to the previous uh, illustration with design and developer, the design system solution give us some uh, benefits actually. One of very good examples is the design system provide us uh, with some common language uh, between different job families and titles. Uh, but in the end, if we have this defined and uh, in use, the button uh, means exactly the same for designer, developer, and also other roles that are involved in, in this process. So they understand each other more efficiently, more transparently, and uh, they know what is possible to do with the button in terms of the behavior, uh, the visual perspective and so on. So uh, as I mentioned, it's basically the same for, for the designer and also for the engineer. Button is the same UI part of the whole UI we have uh, inside our product and it's exactly the same. Also, uh, because we have uh, for, for some time the design system in our company, it gives us some uh, other benefits. Uh, as I mentioned, we had the inconsistencies uh, in the past, but with the design system, it gives us the possibility to increase the consistency of our product, not just uh, between different dom domains or modules we have on the product, 
but also uh, between different touch points. So we aim to uh, have the same visual, visual style uh, and language uh, as on the web than on the mobile application. It also increases, and this is why I would say very important, it increases the efficiency, uh, how we design and develop product. So in the end, uh, as MJ, MJ talked about product designers and UX researchers, they can focus on more important things than just moving pixels uh, in the design tool or software engineers basically fixing uh, some, some very small problems in the code. And in the end, because of the increased consistency and efficiency, it gives us a possibility to build faster products at scale. And also uh, because we have the Orbit design system uh, for, for a few years, and it's, I would say, very good adopted in uh, different products and by different teams, it gives us uh, the very nice opportunity to handle the UI perspective from one single place, one single source of the visual truth. So if we would like to, for instance, change some, some colors or shapes of different UI elements, we could do that very simple, just uh, from one single place. So that was, I would say, a brief journey, uh, how we end up with, with the need to have a design system. And now I, I would like to briefly introduce what we uh, have inside our design system and where you actually find it. Our design system is an open source project uh, and it's built and by Kivicom. Uh, it means uh, that it's publicly available on, on uh, our documentation site and also GitHub. And it's aimed to be the design system for building uh, your next travel project. So if you would like to, you can freely use it. You can freely use uh, every component. You could read the guidelines and build your own travel project if you would like to. Uh, and the reason why we've decided to actually have this as an open source project was that we wanted to give something back to the community uh, because in terms of some software engineering uh, and also designing, uh, you actually, actually use quite a lot of open source projects. So uh, we wanted to give this back to the community. Currently, uh, the design system we have uh, has multiple multiple parts inside it. It's just uh, it's not just about components and some visual uh, visual perspective we have inside our product, but it goes beyond that. So from from the colors icons I mentioned, uh, we have also some guidelines and I would say well documented. Uh, voice and tone, for instance, that is used uh, by our copywriters to actually write very good uh, uh, copies for our features. And then also to, to some processes and tools that uh, needs to be implemented to be efficient even more with design systems. Currently, uh, we have more than 60 components that are uh, developed for four platforms. That's mainly uh, for web applications uh, running and or powered by React and also for iOS and Android native applications. And on daily basis, uh, the design system is currently used by more than 90 people that, and in the end, they are using the same documentation site because to understand um, and remember all the stuff it's almost impossible. Uh, there is a need to have, I would say, good documentation that clearly describes and document every decision that was made uh, in the design system. And actually, we are currently working on providing completely new solution to our documentation. And this uh, solution 
on which will be the Orbit QE documentation signed build on will be also open sourced. Hopefully uh, we will release this new site in upcoming uh, weeks and we will be even more than glad to actually get some feedback for that. And also, as I mentioned, because we are open source project, you can find out all of our source code for, for components and tooling around it on a GitHub, uh, GitHub uh, page. So if you would go to github.com slash qvcom slash orbit, you would find all source code there. And not just us as a orbit, but different uh, open source tools we have built in the past. Uh, and I would say there are more than just one, uh, one very great tools to, to be tried out by you. Lastly, uh, uh, I would say um, very, very, it would be very nice to introduce more the people behind the design system, uh, because this is not just, uh, I would say once one man army, uh, but there is a team behind it that contains, uh, contains consists more than one people besides me. Those are uh, two product designers, two software engineers, and also one technical writer who is responsible mainly for the documentation. And uh, we also, uh, we are also looking for some new colleagues, especially software engineers that would like to push even further the design system we have. So uh, if anyone would be interested, just reach out to me, for instance, on LinkedIn. And that's it. Thanks for uh, your attention. And I uh, will be more than glad to answer any question. Cool. Thank you for your presentation, Ludic. Uh, we have first question so far. Thanks for sharing. What are the tools you use to create and communicate your design ideas? That's a very nice question. In terms of uh, the design ideas, uh, our team is focusing on providing some exploration. So uh, we collect, uh, I would say, the needs uh, for maybe new components or some visual refreshment of, uh, of such components. And for that, we, we use currently Figma uh, as the also UX team that uh, MJ introduced, and we have some uh, also, I would say, standardized the way how the this visual exploration for, for the component should look like. And then there is some uh, also design process or design review for it because it needs to be validated for a lot of, lot of use cases, not just for maybe one or two. I'm curious, do you have some system which allows you to bring the designs directly to Orbit from Figma? We don't currently. Uh, I would say this is something that the whole community around uh, design system is seeking for. Uh, there are already some tools uh, that I would say have a bright uh, future for that, uh, but they are not there yet. Uh, the whole design tooling or uh, yeah the, the whole design tooling is not currently that ideal and i would say it will take uh even a few more years to actually have uh from design to to code tool that supports everything uh, we might need okay thank you thank you for your answers and for your talk